right, well, we're on the road. Um, as you can see, sun's finally coming up. I would have done some recording this morning, but I uh, couldn't really do any. Due to the fact that it was pitch black out and I was loading the tomorrow up. But it is a pretty sunrise. So, um, like I said, we're all the way up to Memphis International Speedway for the Super Chevy Show. Um, they used my car again this year for the poster, for one of the posters. This year they had more than one. So, I figured I might as well go up. I didn't go up, normally I take Friday off. I go up Fridays do test and tune and everything. I did it this year. Uh, mainly because uh, the weather has been so sketchy here recently. Uh, yesterday was our first nice day and I didn't feel like sleeping in the truck. That's what I normally do is sleep at the track. I mean it's Memphis. I'm not going to a hotel room and leave my car out in the parking lot. So gonna do the uh if there's still tickets i didn't buy my ticket in advance the show part i want i'm bringing my slicks i want to make a couple runs down the track i don't know if they're gonna let me i don't know if there's a class that's running today that will allow me to run uh, i'm hoping there is if there isn't then tell me it. i'll do the car show and watch the races um uh, and see if I can't place in the show. So yeah, I'll keep it posted. Well, we're about to pull into Memphis. About to cross over the border. If you look uh, on the left, you'll see the uh, Pyramid Bass Pro Shop. It's kind of neat. We've never seen it. it all down. 
GPI in Jacksonville, Arkansas. They're from Arkansas. That's a good one.
I own one. This would be it. I'm 
Impala. I forgot about those truck speakers. something y'all want to see. I love this. I love my Monte Carlos. Yeah, 71. I just want to know. I'm curious. swivel bucket seats. They don't look it. They look too wide to be the swivel. the red interior I love the red interior but I would have to have the two tops Like, nope, I gotta make sure I can financially afford it and I have to and uh, now he's semi 
turbo. Hell, uh, and she is beautiful. Look at that. 10 of us and there was one that had a nice paint job or two but uh, their interior was junk or under the hood looked like shit um, so I, I had it hands down I wasn't worried about that end of the day trophies were supposed to be at three they didn't start doing them till four and then when they did them they only did three trophies uh, best interior, best paint, and best fabrication. And I said, whoa, whoa, wait. And everybody was like, what the hell? And they're like, oh, well, you know, if you want to win your class, you have to come back tomorrow, stay all day, and then you can, you'll, you'll, you'll be qualified to win your class. And I said, no, 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 that, that ain't how it's ever been. Well, I didn't. I knew the name had changed from Super Chevy to just Chevy. And uh, I'm, I used to have subscriptions to Carcraft and Super Chevy and Hot Rod. And I still got my Hot Rod magazine. I uh, don't really read it that much, but I still get them. Well, Super Chevy went out of business. They closed down that magazine. So it's no longer the Super Chevy show, it's just Chevy. Uh, so in doing so, Memphis rearranged it and to qualify for a trophy, which was a really cheesy ass trophy. It was a wooden plaque with a sticker on it. It really looked bad, uh, especially for that big of a raceway and as much as they were charging to enter for the, for the car show. It's $35 for one day. $55 for two days, $65 for all three, I think. Don't quote me on that, but I think that's what it was. Um, and to qualify, you had to do Saturday and Sunday. And there's people showing up at three o'clock when judging was supposed to have stopped, registering. They were going out looking at their vehicle. They were qualified. Then they were leaving, not even staying for the show. And then tomorrow they're gonna cut, or today they were gonna go back at whatever time they feel like it, as long as you're there before three, park their car, stay for an hour, and then get a trophy. Well, it should be, you gotta be here by this time, you stay for this day, and then we give awards. You can't, you can't run it like that. I was very disappointed. I won't go for it back to another car show there, ever. Uh, I'll go up there and race, but that's the first car show I've ever done there, and not impressed um, at all. Maybe a little bit, none. So, anyhow, the car is back, uh, so it was a complete bust. But it was, I met some really good people. Uh, a lot of people loved my car, took notes off my car. 
a bunch of Camaro guys love my tires, the tire size, so that they, I found the perfect tire size. Uh, so they were gonna copy that and get that tire size. Um, everybody loved the interior and the motor and everything else. So it was a good time. There's some good races. Watched a few uh, pretty good wrecks that were hardcore. Um, food lines were stupid long. Restrooms are nasty. And that's the thing. I've spent the night there before. It's Memphis. Uh, I'm not going to leave my car at a hotel room. So you got to sleep at the track. They've got like three showers. Two, uh, one to two of them is always broken. They're nasty on the inside. You better wear your shoes while you're in it. Taking a shower. The crappers look. I had cleaner, nicer outhouses when I was in the military at Fort Benning, Georgia, than what their bathrooms are. Uh, so it's it's nasty. And for the amount of money that they come in, th they should redo them once a year. They make enough money off that. Uh, they just don't care. Uh, food lines, like I said, stupid long, ex super expensive, um, and it is what it is. You know, I just very disappointed. Uh, last time I took a cooler with me, um, this time they posted everywhere, no coolers, no coolers, no coolers. I went ahead and didn't bring one. I should have. Most people did uh, because everything is three dollars for a bottle of water. Uh, three dollars for a coke um you know they don't have to make that much money off a bottle of water but you know the ticket prices and everything else i just very disappointing so i'm gonna probably run out to centerville or prescott or someplace local go do a thousand foot uh haven't run that but anyhow it was a good time i hope you liked the video uh Hope you like the cars. You'll get to see some of the cars. I'm hoping it's not too shaky. There's a lot of people there. It was hot, hot as hell. So I went through the best I could. Uh, I didn't stick around on just one car. I just kind of did a glance past everything. So if you haven't been to it, it is a good car show to go to. Uh, it's just not one I would enter and expect to get something out of it. Um, if you do enter it, Stay however long you like, but if you're not going for both days, there's no point in staying to the end. Just stay for three or four hours until you've seen and done everything, then leave. So, hey, you go. Comment, share, like. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button.